I'm here with Scandium Canada with Guy Barassa. How are you today? I'm very good. Thanks for having me on the air. So, PDAC, what are you doing here and what's your number one agenda? Well, what we're doing here is uh, awareness about Scandium Canada. Uh, awareness about Scandium in itself, because very few people understand what Scandium is and what it can bring to the planet. So our main objective is to put us on the map and uh, make people aware of the level of advancement of our project. Well, we know what Scandium is, and we've been following Scandium for years, and we are delighted to have such a successful CEO join the market, because I think we've needed that. We've needed someone who can prove they can turn a Scandium company into something we all need to be participating in. That's exactly why I was dragged out of my retirement, because it's the same experience as I lived through all of the Damasco lithium file over 10 years, from a historical showing to a construction, financing over 10 years, all of the permitting First Nation negotiations. So if you look at Scandium Canada today, it's like Nemaska Lithium in 2012, but with the necessity to educate people like any Lithium project in 2009-2010. The difference, very positive in this case, is that once I have put the Scandium on the map and the people understand about Scandium, I will not have, contrary to Lithium, to explain why there will be a market to take the Scandium aluminum alloy. It can reduce weight significantly for any part that you're gonna change from steel, from titanium, to a bar of aluminum, uh, scandium aluminum alloy. Therefore, you're gonna be helping the planet by reducing the weight. You're gonna reduce the GHG. You're gonna be going through a net zero environment. So that's why scandium is so important. And why is Scandium Canada so important? Currently, the only source of supply of scandium comes as a byproduct of another mineral. Supply very limited and strictly from Russia and China. The world needs a primary source of scandium. And you know what? The only one known in the world belongs to Scandium Canada. And that's exactly why they came and asked me, could you please bring it to the construction level? And I gladly accept it. Well, we are very excited that you have joined and are leading up Scandium Canada. Uh, of course, we're following the aerospace and the military applications. Scandium is on pretty much every critical mineral list in the world. Yes. And we're fortunate that it is on the Canadian critical mineral list because, as you know, markets are down, markets are bad, very difficult to bring additional money to advance a project at this stage. Therefore, we must rely on subsidies very large package of subsidy in Canada for the, the advancement, rapid advancement of a project to the shovel ready and to construction phase. $1.5 billion Canadian is the critical mineral infrastructure fund. In our case, we're north of the 55th parallel, Northeast Quebec. We can receive 75% subsidy. Imagine, 75% of the expenses subsidized, no dilution. So currently we just applied for a $9.5 million subsidy to fund 75% of the next two years of expense. You know a lot of juniors that have that in their, uh, in their uh, bank account? No. Well, of course, most juniors don't have such a successful CEO either, Guy. So you know, there's a few competitive reasons here for people to pull up their sleeves and do their due diligence on Scandium Canada. Can you give our audience a couple of competitive reasons why Scandium Canada, they should push everything aside and do some due diligence on Scandium Canada? Oh, absolutely. And I'll repeat myself, of course, but it's the only primary source in the world. There's no other source. Yes, you have comparables. And uh, like in the 2009, 2010, everybody was trying to attach lithium to a press release to try to attract interest. The last two, three months, I've started to see the same thing happening with people saying, oh, we have scandium in our analysis. A little bit of scandium, but we have scandium. So it's interesting because we need new sources. But a primary source able to meet the demand market by increasing its capacity 
there's only one. On top of this, we have a preliminary economic assessment that delivered in 2022 to, that came to 1.7 billion net present value at 10% discount. Only relating to 300 meters of a, a one of the five zones identified over a 14 kilometer radius on the property. So it's gonna be a large resource. It's gonna be a very, very long time. I do the, the parallel with Niobium. 50 years ago, Niobium was not used with the steel industry. When they were able to, to, to determine that adding Niobium to uh, iron, they made the ferro-Niobium alloy. Completely changed the steel industry. Scandium Canada is going to do the same thing for the aluminum sector. And of course, in addition to that, you have experience making end user deals. <laughs> to me, that's a competitive advantage. Have you started looking in that direction? I mean, you just recently joined the company. The company's changed its name, rebranding, great new trading symbol, SCD, SCD like yes. Scandium. Um, have you started moving in that direction yet? Yes, of course. It's uh, a large end users, potential large end users. We made a research just as an example, uh, Airbus. You do Airbus on Google, Airbus patent, Scandium alloy, you're going to have about 15 patents that they own. They cannot use them currently. There's not enough supply available. So you're not going to change a part in the plane or launch a new series with Scandium aluminum alloy if you're not certain of having that. So we're talking with the large potential end users. We're talking with the aluminum smelters and we're talking with everybody that can have an interest in deploying that new product. So what should shareholders, I mean, now that you're on board and driving the bus, yes. <laughs> Scandium bus. What should shareholders be looking forward to in the next quarter or two? Oh, just as a reminder, 1.7 billion net present value. Usually the rule of thumb for a company of this size with that type of advancement on a project should be trading 10% of that net present value. Currently, we're trading at less than 1% of that net present value. So there's definitively and upside potential rapidly. I think that for the next quarter, you will see, you should see signing of a pre-development agreement with some First Nations that we're in, involved with. You're gonna see that uh, we are uh, starting a uh, technical, geotechnical drilling on the, on the property. You're gonna see a lot of uh, very interesting things in the next one, two quarters. Well, Guy, thank you so much for joining us today. We love Scandium. It's on every critical mineral list. <laughs> and we look forward to following your unquestionable success. Thank you. Thank you again.